Okay, Brian, so we're going to do this session um, to counteract your fear of flying. So to begin with, if you just get yourself comfortable and just start to breathe, but just focus on your breath. Just breathe naturally. Let your unconscious mind do the work. Your unconscious, that part of your mind that takes care of all your bodily functions and your breathing automatically. So just breathe and just allow your eyes to close as well. That's it, just allow your high eyelids to become heavy and leaden, just let your eyes close. But most of all, just at the moment, just focus on your breathing. Breathing in and out. And maybe just allow your breathing to become a little deeper so you breathe into your stomach and as you do you feel your stomach expand and you breathe out and your stomach retracts and there's a distinct rhythm and flow to that life energy within you, your breath. And the deeper you breathe, the more oxygen you pump to the cells in your body, revitalizing them. But most of all, becoming more relaxed. Breathing in a sense of peace and breathing out any anxiety or stress. Breathing in a sense of peace and breathing out any worry or anxiety and as you do this just feel your limbs becoming a little bit more limp and relaxed that's good now just take your attention to the top of your head and feel a soothing light begin to expand starting from a little dot and expanding in the top of your head and you may feel a warmth you may feel tingling you may just simply feel deeply relaxed as this warm soothing sensation melts deeply with every cell bone and tissue of your upper head feel it come down your eyelids and feel your eyelids becoming heavier and leaden keeping them closed because it's so comfortable to keep them closed and with your eyes closed your focus becomes inwardly again just focusing on your breath in and out and this warm healing light that comes down your head comes and reduces any tension in the little muscles between your eyes feel them undoing like knots releasing any tension leaving you totally 
and utterly relaxed. The light moves down, your attention stays inwardly and you just enjoy this bathing, bathing by this pure energy that comes down your nose and your cheeks, down to your mouth and your jaw relaxes. Maybe your tongue rests on the bottom of your mouth. Just allow that light to melt deeply with your inner self. Not only clearing any anxiety or worry, but clearing your mind, clearing, breathing, bathing, all the time you feel dreary, droopy, drowsy, because this is your time, your time for you to relax, your body relaxes, your mind relaxes, your awareness becomes focused on my voice, as this energy travels down your shoulders, your shoulders become limp and relaxed and the energy and the light travels down your arms to your hands all the time your breathing is becoming slightly deeper slightly slower reflecting your growing sense of relaxation. Your hands relax, your chest relaxes, your stomach relaxes and the light flows down and cascades down each vertebrae of your spine, giving you a warm feeling throughout your body, just allowing you to bathe your mind, to purify your thoughts and to become master of your own destiny. Allow that light to come down to your bottom and travel down your legs, down your legs to your knees, to your calves and out your feet. And where your feet reach the ground, notice there is two tubes that extend from your feet and penetrate the ground beneath the house. And as you watch these tubes, they grow deeper and deeper into the earth travelling through strata upon strata of rock. The deeper these tubes travel into the earth, the deeper you go within and the deeper you relax, penetrating deep through strata upon strata of rock until the tubes reach the centre of the earth. And when this happens, you feel any negativity that's trapped in your mind or in your body. You feel it begin to flow out through your feet into these tubes. Feel that purifying light that runs through your body pushing out any negativity through your feet, clarifying your mind, rejuvenating your body, relaxing you deeper and deeper. And notice how when this unwanted negative energy is released to the earth, that the earth transforms it into potential 
and useful energy once again and feel that potential useful energy coming back into your body through your feet into your legs and traveling up your body this time relaxing you rejuvenating you but also giving you a new mental arena in which great change can take place transformation can take place because you're on a journey of evolution Ryan and shortly you're going to be presented with an opportunity to retrain your mind and release negative strategies that have marred your life to some extent over years what a great opportunity is going to be presented to you and you will embrace this opportunity and you remember everything that's been said today at specific times Relaxing deeply now. And just allow your mind to empty, to quiet. And allow this soothing scene to come to mind. You find yourself in the pine woods at Formby. You're there with your dog and the dog runs playfully, enjoying the warmth of the day. Shards of light penetrate the verdant canopy, the trees that form a canopy over your head. And it's so warm, you're in your bare feet and you can feel the texture of the leaves beneath your feet. The shards of light that you can see that penetrate the tall trees look magical. And a hue is cast over the woods. Mother Nature is putting on a display of its beauty, especially for you. And you, your wife and the dog, enjoy every moment. You're in a beautiful space in your mind and somehow the state of your mind is reflected by the beauty you find yourself in, in the pine woods. The undulating ground causes you to walk down deeper into troughs within the woods. And then you walk light inclines and the ups and downs remind you of the ups and downs we face in life and every down is followed by a challenge of coming up again and somehow there's a great sense of achievement when we overcome obstacles in our life again just feel the sun on your back hear the sound of small twigs snapping under your feet as you step on them hear the sound of the dog barking with joy as it enjoys the beautiful surroundings. 
smell the scent of the wild flowers. Open all your senses and absorb yourself in this scene. The pine woods, the tall trees that sway in that gentle breeze that seems to come from the sea and you can smell the salt in the air as your senses are fully engaged. Hear the sound of birds, especially seabirds. And as you continue walking through the pine woods, you find a path that leads down to the sand dunes and then eventually to the sea. And you start to tread this path. And this path is very much like your brain. The more times you tread this path, the deeper you entrench it into the ground. And the more times you practice doing things differently in life, you entrench different pathways, neural pathways into your brain. Your brain can easily rewire itself when needed. So every time you take a step on this path, you feel a sense of determination, a sense of an imminent challenge, and a sense that you would like to fully embrace this opportunity that is going to be presented to you shortly to overcome certain patterns in your life that mar your growth that detract from fully enjoying experiences that should be enjoyed fully. Feel that warm sand now as you hit the sand dunes, the sand beneath your feet, and you can hear the gentle lap of waves on the shore, the warm the sky is blue and the blue resonates with an energy center in your throat feel that color blue sky blue and the energy that it emanates start to open your throat energy center or chakra and this will enable you to communicate clearly. It will enable you to communicate the truth to yourself when you eventually reach the airport. This part of yourself, your wisdom, will be in control, fully in control. But this also means that your earthly lower self your psychological self will have to relinquish control and give control over to the higher, wise part of yourself. And all that leaves you to do is enjoy your holiday, knowing your wise sense is fully in control. But for now, you continue your walk through the undulating sand dunes and down onto the beach and you see the ocean and the ocean extends for as far as the eye can see its magnitude is incomprehensible and that somehow reflects 
the magnitude of possibilities that lie before you of choices and thus far in life you've made very very good choices and in some smaller areas not so good choices and one of the choices you have a chance now to relinquish a chance to relinquish your fear of flying and fully embrace the experience and even enjoy the experience so now as you ponder that great ocean that great ocean of opportunities that's before you you take a stick in your hand and I want you now Brian when I say to draw the number 10 on the sand do that now draw the number 10 on the sand with the stick And watch as the tide comes in and washes that number out of the sand and out of your mind. And now you draw the number nine in the sand. And the tide comes in and washes that number out of the sand and out of your mind each time this happens you relinquish a little bit more control and you hand the function of your breathing and your body over completely to the wisdom of your unconscious mind allowing your conscious mind to relax and draw the number eight in the sand and draw the number eight and the tide comes in and washes that number out of your mind and you find yourself going much more deeper within deeper into that space within where transformation takes place you draw the number seven and the tide washes it away and then the same with the number six the tide washes it away and you go deeper and deeper into yourself then the number five and you just feel so serene here in the gentle lap of the waves and the seabirds overhead that's so good then the number four followed by the number three and the tide washes it away just like the wisdom of your mind can wash away any fears or anxiety wipe them from your memory so that you can rewire your brain and the number two draw it in the sand with the stick feeling the sand beneath your feet the warmth and joy of the whole experience and the tide washes away the number two and finally you draw the number one and this is the number one because one is going to make changes in your life one is going to embrace the challenges ahead with vigor, determination and wisdom 
and one is going to come through the other side completely free inspired and ready to embrace new challenges that's good ok so just breathe deeply now deeply feeling that rhythm and flow of your breath allow the pine woods to dissipate from your mind and now I want you to bring this scene to mind Brian I'd like you to see yourself with your case wheeling your case towards the terminal at the airport you're very aware of your breathing your breathing is deep and relaxed you're focusing on the holiday ahead of you your destination New York but there's more to this particular journey because as a healthy human being you embrace the challenges ahead of you and today you have the opportunity to conquer yet another challenging episode in your life so as immediately you start to enter the building the terminal building you feel a sense of anticipation anticipation that this time you will go through this experience relatively fear free you breathe deeply you notice people around you going about the business the everyday business nobody seemingly caring about the planes outside at this point you're in the building you have an opportunity to retrain your brain if some anxiety should start to come up release control and allow the feeling of anxiety to emerge when this happens just concentrate immediately on your breath and take deep conscious breaths focus on your stomach immediately you feel any anxiety focus on your stomach take a deep breath and notice how your stomach expands and when you breathe out Breathe out slowly, like you're blowing hot soup. Very slowly. And breathe in deeply, expanding your stomach. And breathe out slowly, like you're blowing on hot soup. that's so good now make your way towards the security and know and see and feel the busyness of the place and even expect some anxiety to come up this is quite normal But this time, what I'd like you to do, Brian, when the anxiety starts to emerge, I want you to immediately stop. Count in your mind from five down to one.
So you feel some anxiety. That's your trigger. That's your cue to count immediately and consciously from five, slowly down to one. And when you reach one, your mind will be immediately transported to Central Park, New York, the destination you long to be in. So the sequence goes like this, feel anxiety, count immediately down slowly from five to one, then immediately let your focus move to Central Park, New York. Go there now, have a look at them grassy swords, and the green of Central Park, the inclines, the fountains, the ponds, the zoo, the bandstands, the vastness of this place you love and you've been to many times before. Open your senses and feel what it feels like to be in that place you love so much. This is your destination. And everything you're going to go through today is designed to get you to that destination by the fastest and safest possible method. So let's just try that out now. So you're going to the security and the feeling of anxiety comes up. Now count from five to one in your mind. Three, two, one, and straight to New York, to Central Park. See them fountains and the ponds. Feel what it feels like to be in that special place, New York with your wife, enjoying yourself. And feel how your anxiety becomes insignificant when you think this way. Okay. Your mind is in Central Park, New York. You are actually at the security at the airport terminal. On a scale of one to ten, where is your anxiety now, Brian? Two. Two, that's good. Okay. So let's let's revisit this sequence. You enter the airport terminal right away as soon as you go through the airport terminal first of all you look forward to the challenge that lies ahead today you will fly on an airplane today you have the opportunity to relinquish any residual anxiety Today, you have the opportunity to retrain your brain. And sometimes this simply means allowing things to happen. The problem is not your anxiety. And know, Brian, that your anxiety in no way reflects the danger you're in. The anxiety 
the anxiety, the anticipatory anxiety is far worse than actually any danger you're in. It's the feeling within you that's the problem. And all feelings stem from the way we think. So when you get to the security desk, your thinking is going to be disrupted. The psyche saboteur, that part of your mind, that is intent on making it difficult for you by reproducing old negative patterns of thinking is not going to be listened to this time because we're going to interrupt his narrative. And when he comes in with his disaster stories, you'll simply ignore him. You'll allow the feeling of his anxiety to be. You won't try to control it. You allow it to be. And you'll simply count from five down to one. This will break your thought patterns initially. So the anxiety comes up. You count five, four, three, two, one. And you are immediately transported to New York Central Park. Your mind is not bound by time and space and can travel to anywhere. You can think what you want at any time. Therefore, we don't need to listen to the psyche saboteur. We just need to be conscious of our thinking and act when we feel certain cues. So when you're queuing in the security, this is your cue to count from five to one when the anxiety begins to creep in this is your cue to count from five to one and to transport your mind to the destination you so much want to be where you want to be okay. that's good also being in the terminal building Realize something that's very simple. Actually, the most dangerous part of your journey is over with. That was the journey in the car on the way. That is far more dangerous than traveling by air. So feel that relief that you're now at the airport and allow some excitement to start to expel the anxiety. Because this whole procedure you're going through is designed to get you to your favorite place with the min minimal fuss by the fastest and safest possible transport. Embed that in your mind. Commit that to your memory. And when you go through to that airport terminal, this will all flood back into your mind. The feeling of anxiety is okay. Allow it to come up. But immediately distract your thought patterns by focusing on the numbers five to one in your mind. And when you reach one, you'll immediately be transported to New York Central Park. And you'll feel the joy of being there. Now move on. And now you move into the departure lounge. All the time, remembering to be conscious of your breathing. And if you should feel any anxiety, this is also a cue for you to consciously breathe into your diaphragm. So you feel some anxiety, you breathe deeply into your diaphragm and you breathe out very slowly as though you're blowing soup, hot soup. You breathe in 
and you breathe out slowly, consciously, and you concentrate on your breathing, the rhythm, the flow of your breath. That's all that matters. And you move on slowly. Again, having that feeling of anticipation that you're finally overcoming certain habituated patterns that have held you back in life thus far. But now you are in control. The psyche saboteur is the problem. That part of your mind that likes to tell distorted stories of disasters and horrors. And if the psyche saboteur does start to tell its horror story, I would like you to see the face of the storyteller as being your favourite comedic character out the in-between us. So the psyche saboteur starts to try to relay its story. Yet all you see in your mind is your favourite character out the in-between us. And when this happens you find that you can't take this horror story seriously. You say it's a sham. You see it's a joke. Immediately the anxiety comes up and the psyche saboteur starts to tell a story. The face of your favourite character in the in-between us will come up. He will be the face of your psyche saboteur and you'll find it almost impossible to take it serious. As well as this happening, at any given point, you can transport your mind forward. As your wife will be accompanying with you, when you are thinking of being in Central Park or your favourite parts of New York. Talk to your wife and absorb yourself in the conversation. Explain vividly what you're going to do, where you're going to go. Narrow your focus and focus only on where you're going to travel. And let the excitement build to the exclusion of any other narratives that are trying to go through your mind. Breathe and deeply. In the departure lounge, where's your anxiety levels from one to 10 now? No, that's good. So just breathe deeply, Brian. Just begin to enjoy the feeling because this is the first day of your holiday. Everything for months has been designed to get you on this path. People take this mode of transport because it's the quickest and safest way to travel. The dangerous part of your holiday is over with and that was traveling to the airport and even that's not so dangerous. But what's left ahead of you now? is actually the easiest part. All you've got to do is let go. Concentrating on your breathing, talking to your wife about what lies ahead of you, what you're going to do. If the anxiety comes into your mind, immediately see the face of your favourite character of the in-betweeners come to your mind. At the same time, count down from five, four, three, two, one, and transport yourself to Central Park, New York. See the fountains and the ponds 
the museum, the zoo, the bandstands. Let your senses be overwhelmed by the experience of Central Park and take so much joy <coughs> in relaying the contents of your mind to your wife. You're that excited about getting to your New York. Your senses are filled. Your internal senses are filled with the experience that there's no room for anything else, only joy. And let's move on now. <clears throat> and we'll move on and you hear your flight has been called and you almost don't hear it being called <coughs> because you're so engrossed in talking to your wife and both of you are filled with excitement filled with the excitement of landing in New York breathing deeply you walk to the gate you go down to passport control and you show your passport breathing deeply filled with a sense of adventure in control of what you think rather than allowing control to be relinquished to the psyche saboteur who's just the scaremonger and irrelevant but now you're wise now you're taking conscious control of how you feel and nobody's going to take that away from you. And how you feel is determined by how you think. And you can guide your mind to think about anything you want. The problem is so far, it's been trained to think fear thought when reaching the airport but that was then and last time you went there was significant improvement and this time you go there's going to be another significant improvement because right now all you're doing is concentrating on my thoughts on my voice and my voice will be internalized within your mind when you go that airport. And you will hear my voice when the anxiety starts to creep in. And you will know immediately to count from five, four, three, two, one. And transport your mind to New York. Absorb yourself and feelings. Retrain your brain. Take control of your mind. Become master of your own mind, Brian. And sometimes we have to relinquish control in order to gain control. So rather than to fight feelings of anxiety, allow them to be but under no circumstances accept the ridiculous distorted thoughts of the psyche saboteur. Change the course of your thinking. Distract yourself by numbers and distract yourself by thinking about your destination. Okay, so we go through passport control and now we go to enter the fuselage and we see the happy staff, the happy stewards, stewardesses, cabin crew, the professionals who are there to make your journey a happy, safe and joyful experience. People who are there to look after you and they show you to your seat and you sit in your seat and you notice by some 
strange reason, your breathing is even deeper than normal now. You're consciously aware your breathing is deep. And you sit in your seat and the cabin crew take other people and check their overhead lockers and then they go through this safety routines. The doors close, but all you can think of now is the door is closed on the Psyche Saboteur. As soon as that plane door is closed, you will automatically know that is the door closing on your Psyche Saboteur. No longer are you gonna let this part of your psyche rule your mind the door closes the door closes on the psyche saboteur you strap yourself into the seat you strap yourself into the wisdom of your wise self and you know exactly what to do out goes the old strategy that's run by the psyche saboteur and in comes this new simple strategy and that's simply numbers. Should anxiety notice the sensations in your body when the anxiety comes up? Notice the sensations, but don't try to control it. But focus on the numbers in your mind. You may even want to count from 10 to one, that's fine. But make sure also that when you're strapped in, you breathe in deeply and you're blowing out hot soup. Nobody will know you're doing this. You can do this. You can practice it before you go. And also, Brian, maybe you will put some headphones on and you will be listening to this session throughout your journey through the airport. So you will be ultimately relaxed. Tell me now, on the scale of one to ten, as you're strapped in, comfortable, breathing deeply, in control of your thoughts, where is your anxiety on the scale of one to ten? No. None, that's good. So keep breathing, absorb yourself. Allow this scene to come now in colour. You're there, you're talking to your wife. In fact, you're totally and utterly engrossed in talking to your wife about the forthcoming holiday, the experiences you're going to have. And all the time, there's another part of you that's very aware that actually you've overcome this negative strategy. You've retrained your brain. When we interrupt patterns, negative patterns, the neural networks in our brain that supported these negative patterns will disband. And you can create new neural networks that will support your new way of operating through the airport. And take some sense of achievement and in knowing you've achieved this. And finally, the plane starts to taxi. You were actually unaware this was happening because you were so engrossed in talking to your wife. Your breathing is still very deep into the diaphragm. And this time, as you head for the runway, your thoughts go something like this. In a second, the plane will move very quickly and it's going to take me to a space where travel is ultimately the safest. I'm going to go up in the air and I'm going to go beyond danger. I'm going to go to a space that is so safe for travel, so quick for travel, that I'm going to enjoy the experience. This will be embedded in your mind as the plane starts to move off you will hear my voice saying now Brian 
you are about to go to the safest possible route for traveling. So let's hand control over to the experts at the front of the plane and let me, Brian, and my wife enjoy the hospitality offered on board the plane. Let's utilize this time on the plane to talk about to talk about what's going to happen when we get to New York. We're on our way. The seatbelt signs come off. You take off your seatbelt and you start to fully become aware of what you've achieved. And you give yourself some recognition because today, Brian, you have met a challenge and you've overcome that challenge. You've become wiser. You've developed more courage. But most of all, you're relaxed and focused on the very thing you're there for. That's this holiday. And as the plane starts to come in now and hover over the destination, you become excited because you can see your destination. And you know that when the plane starts to descend, you'll shortly be out. You'll shortly be enjoying the sights of New York. And as the plane starts to descend, your levels of anxiety will descend and descend and descend. You will feel nothing but as the plane descends you'll feel yourself calm and relaxed you'll be breathing consciously deeply you will be rejoicing in being able to relinquish this pattern this negative pattern you'll be talking to your wife And the plane will come down on the runway smoothly and you will enter the airport of New York. Job done. And the thing is, Brian, is once this procedure has been gone through once and you've maintained this sense of stability, equilibrium, status, that you'll never have to face it again, because you will embrace the challenge. So now Brian, tell me, where are your anxiety levels on the level from zero to ten. So. Pardon? Yeah. That's good, okay. Okay, Brian, we're coming to the end of the session now. But I just want to reiterate the journey and summarize it. You enter the airport terminal. You rejoice in the fact that the most dangerous part of your journey is over with, the road. What lies ahead from this point on is easy. It's the very thing that you've paid for to make your journey fast and safe and to get you to a destination you love. You go through security knowing that you're in the hands of professionals. Should any anxiety start to arise, 
you will immediately break your thought patterns so your anxiety will be a trigger for you to start to focus completely on numbers in your mind five four three two one new york central park fountains fields zoos bandstands and so on but you will fill your mind you will engage all your senses internally and you'll relay what you're saying to your wife your wife will be there supporting you can tell her you can enjoy the experience of your mind together you'll go through security you'll be breathing deeply and exhaling slowly all the time Brian's in control should the psyche saboteur try to sabotage or hijack your mind you'll immediately visualize the psyche saboteur as your favorite character in the in-between us a, com a comedic face and you'll start to chuckle internally you'll move on you'll see the planes you'll begin to wonder what all the fuss was about in the past you'll go down to the gates through security through passport control and you'll enter the fuselage in complete control anxiety arises that's okay the thoughts that accompany it are not so we won't have them you're in control the anxiety starts to arise five four three two one new york the psyche saboteur starts to talk you hear the voice of your favorite character from the in-between us you won't be able to take it seriously you'll realize that the voice of the psyche saboteur is farcical and you will stay in control when you get into the fuselage and you get into the plane you realize that you're in the best mode of transport the safest the fastest and you will relinquish control at that point to the experts who have trained most of their life to make your journey easy why worry when these people have been trained to take care of you you've got other things at hand you've got the experience of new york ahead of you you will focus on this you will enjoy the journey because your internal world will be very focused on what lies ahead of you just commit them lessons to mind listen to this video when we complete it or even have an mp3 of this video and as you go through the airport i'll create that for you and on that note time to start to emerge slowly so in a second Brian I'm going to count up from one to five when I reach five your eyes will open and you'll feel refreshed and wide awake so on one allow your awareness to come back and be seated behind the windows of your eyes so you feel centered in your body in two commit all of them lessons we just discussed to the deepest part of your unconscious and on three know that they will reappear when you need them at the airport on four feel yourself coming back to this room this time this place and on five allow your eyes to open and just familiarize yourself just take your time